my gosh, look at this. Freaking yum, dude. Oh, I love Asian one. Dude, look what just got added to Netflix. You know what we're doing tonight. Hello, hello. Today is June 29th and I just got off work a little bit early. My bangs are at that really awkward stage where they're like too freaking long. So I'm just kind of like, keep trying to keep them out of my face. Anyways, my sister and her boyfriend left for California two days ago now and they're gonna be in California through the 4th of July. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sad about it because like me and my sister have never spent more than like maybe two days apart in like our whole freaking lives. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of sad, but on the bright side, I do get the apartment to myself for like a whole week. So that's really awesome. I have been getting a ton of like notifications on my phone because I guess Kayla over from Books and Lala just uploaded a new video and people are saying she like talked about me in the video or something. So I'm already like, wait, what? Like I got comments on one of my YouTube videos like people are trying to let me know and like somebody's tweeted me and I'm like, what is going on? The video says reading booktuber recommendations. Oh my God, what? And she talked about me in it. Holy shit. Did she like read a book that I recommended on my channel? Oh my God. What book did she pick? Holy crap. Uh, oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna freak out right now. I'm starving. So I'm gonna make food real fast and then I'm gonna watch it on my TV because it looks like it's like an hour long video, so woot! Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, next, I am watching Gabby Reads. <laughs> my name is Gabby Book. Oh my god. Today, I'm gonna be filming another human. Oh my god. Learn anything about it because I trust you, Gabby. What? So, the time is now. Oh my god, she chose two books. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the book Sadie by Courtney Summers, I Yes, I liked the book Sadie by Courtney Summers. <laughs> Game of Facts Hearts. So did Emily. Did you see the Don Tart? And the Secret History of Don Tart. Are you gonna recommend me If We Were Villains by Emma Rio? Yes. Because of course you are. I think you would also like If We Were Villains by Emma Rio. Both of my favorite books of all time. <laughs> Coming through with accurate recommendations. Oh my God! What is my life? Oh my God! It's so amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, what is my life right now, dude? I'm still kind of freaking out over Kayla's video, like, not gonna lie. Like, that is so cool, like, to see my face in in one- to see my face in one of her videos is, like, so mind-blowing to me, and it's, like, such a dream come true, to be honest, because, like, she's, like, one of my favorite booktubers, and, like, <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or not, but I'm, like, oh my god, I'm, di I'm dying inside right now. <laughs> Yeah, that was really cool. Really, really, really cool. Um, so now I just decided that I'm gonna go stay the night at my parents because as much as I love having the apartment to myself, like I really miss having company right now and <laughs> I'm like fangirling so hard over this like whole being in Kayla's video that I'm like I need to fangirl with somebody right now, so I'm gonna go fangirl with my mom about it. <laughs> dance crews that perform at the summer block parties. We have a Centro de Oro, the strip of Puerto Rican shops where you can get everything from oversized flags to island spices to hand carved mortar and pestles. Hello. Last night was a really great night. I stayed up really late talking to my mom and I just feel so much better after having like deep combos with my mom, which is just so nice. And this morning I just filmed my July, but I just filmed my June wrap up. Whoa. And then my July TBR. And I thought that I could edit my wrap up video and post it before I go to work tonight at four, but it's already 2.30 and the video is 21 minutes long, so there's no way in hell it's gonna finish rendering. I still can't really get over yesterday with Lalo like featuring me in her video. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's just so crazy. I actually like showed that video last night to my parents and they were like freaking out for me <laughs> because they know that I like watch all of her videos and that I'm just like the biggest fan of her. And I remember telling them when she subscribed to me and I was like freaking the fuck out and 
it's just so crazy like that's like beyond anything i thought that could happen so about culinary arts i have one period after lunch to the side whether i'm going to go or not and i know that if i tack on too many more absences i'm going to have to drop the class simply because yo what's up happy july this morning i read 240 pages of lock every door and it's so good oh, i just love riley sager's thrillers so much because i feel like his thrillers especially the, this one and his last one have like such a touch of like horror to them like they're a thriller but they're also very like creepy and it feels like the place is like haunted and it's like so scary so i'm so excited to see where this goes i'm planning on finishing this one later tonight um, but for now i'm gonna go boxing real fast and then i have dinner plans with my parents afterwards and then they're gonna come over here to the apartment to watch a movie and then after that I'm gonna finish this because it's so good and I have about like 120 ish pages left like only this part So I'm loving it so much. So I think this might be my favorite from Riley Sager so far well, again So it's been a couple of hours and I just got back from going to dinner with my parents and we watched a movie and we also hit up village books and I got two new books and so I got tell me how you really feel which I'm really excited about because this is a young adult uh, female female romance that i'm just hella hella excited to read it's like said to be a little bit like hate to love too which is exciting and then i got scythe i think is how you say it right scythe but yeah i'm also very excited to read this and i think i'm gonna include this in my like reading books outside of my comfort zone thing that i'm trying to do this month i've heard really great things about this one i think it's like a young adult sci-fi fantasy maybe really interested in reading this one soon so now i'm just going to finish reading lock every door and then maybe jump into one of these tonight hey how's it going it's july 3rd and i just got back from starbucks starbucks is always out of like everything that i want like i ordered a bagel and they were like sorry we're out of cream cheese but i was like you know whatever it's fine i got cream cheese at home like i'll live but then i ordered my usual drink my ice cinnamon almond milk macchiato and they were like sorry we're also out of almond milk and i was like what so instead i ended up getting this blended strawberry lemonade and it's super good but like still i kind of wanted coffee and that's like my go-to coffee drink but it's about one o'clock in the afternoon right now and i have today off of work so i'm currently reading tell me how you really feel i got a little over 60 pages into it last night and i'm really enjoying it so far it's like so adorable and i'm already feeling the feels for them so <laughs> so i'm just gonna sit out here and read for a couple of hours drink my starbucks and then I think later tonight, me and my dad are going to go see the new Spider-Man movie, which I'm really excited about, mainly because Jake Gyllenhaal is in it and he is bae. It is four o'clock now and I just finished reading Tell Me How You Really Feel. And I freaking loved it so much. Like, I think this was a five-star book for me. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is the 4th of July. It's funny because like I actually wanted to go and see the new Spider-Man because Jake Gyllenhaal is my favorite actor and I just really wanted to like see him in a Marvel movie. But to be completely honest, I feel like his character was probably my least favorite part of the movie. Like, I don't know, just like Mysterio is just very like over the top and dramatic and cheesy, I feel like. And I don't know why, I just feel like Marvel's villains are always so cheesy and just not the best. I don't know, I guess I just like seeing Jake Joan Hall in a lot more darker, serious roles as opposed to these like blockbustery villain roles, you know? Now it's 4th of July and it's kind of gloomy out today. Like not gonna lie, it's kind of a cloudy, chill day. And I'm really excited because my sister comes home today. She's been in California since the end of June and she's getting back home at some point tonight i think so i'm really excited because they just uploaded season three of stranger things onto netflix so i think we have plans to binge watch that this whole weekend and hopefully we can start it like later tonight like i don't really know what our plans are for tonight but it's oh. fucking time oh fuck Woo! I'm here watch out will <laughs> it's 12 30 in the morning now we just watched the first five episodes of season three of Stranger Things and <laughs> it's so freaking good. Like, oh my god, this show is like one of the most binge watchable shows ever. I'm really bummed that we can't finish it tonight, but I have work like early in the morning, so we called it a night after five episodes. But oh my god, I cannot wait to finish it tomorrow and it kind of sucks because I work all day tomorrow. 
I've worked doubles this entire weekend, so I worked doubles for the next three days straight. I'm still really excited, and I want to finish Stranger Things tomorrow, and I just, oh my god, I love it so much. This show just continues to be so freaking good. Look, every episode ends on a cliffhanger, and I'm like, I need answers, and oh, I can't even deal with this season. I just, oh my god, I love it so much. I, I didn't really see a ton of fireworks. We just kind of like saw a few from our patio off in the distance. There's a lot of trees, you know, so we couldn't really see over the trees, but we did see a few glimpses and the whole sky was like lighting up. And then of course, in typical Washington fashion, it started to rain, like right when the fireworks started going off. So cool. Yo, what's up? It's July 5th and I just got home from work and I'm wearing my Stranger Things shirt and I am ready to go. We've got three episodes left. I'm so excited. It's like 1.30 in the morning and we just finished watching Stranger Things. It was so good, but it was so sad and I cried a little bit and oh my god, it just gave me so many emotions and <laughs> Eleven is so freaking cool like i just love her so much like she's one of the coolest fictional characters ever i think she's my probably my favorite character on the show but then shortly after that i really love steve i also really love robin in this season like she's a new favorite for sure love her character and like ugh, all of their characters are so good <laughs> like there's not one character on the show that i don't like it's just crazy like I just love that show so much. It has my entire heart and soul. Hello, 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 hello. It is July 8th. I haven't seen you in a couple of days, I feel like, because this entire weekend I had to work three doubles in a row, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it was just like a lot. <laughs> and there was a lot of stuff that happened this weekend at work that just like made me so stressed out and exhausted and overwhelmed. We had a really, really, really busy night, Saturday night, and we were short one staff member and we really felt it. It was like one of our busiest Saturdays of the year so far. I just finished reading Miracle Creek by Angie Thomas. This is, whoa, I just said Angie Thomas. <laughs> I just finished reading Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. And this is the first book that I'm reading for this video that I'm doing right now called Reading Books Outside of My Comfort Zone. And next for that video, I'm gonna be picking up Skyward which I'm like really excited about and nervous about because I know a lot of people absolutely love this book and I'm just hoping I do too. It's raining for reals now. I love that sound so much. What up, what up? It is July 10th and it's like kind of later in the afternoon right now. It's like 4.30. It's been raining all day, which is just so great because I know a lot of people that live in Washington are like really upset about it because it's like summertime and it's been raining a lot but I personally really love it like I'm such a huge fan of the rain and I could honestly care less if the sun ever came out I'm just like really ready for fall already like I just want it to be October anyways this afternoon I read 120 pages of Evie Drake starts over and I am loving it so much so far. Like this is honestly like a breath of fresh air because I've been doing this like reading books outside of my comfort zone like challenge for this last like week or so. No, I don't think it's been a week, but for the last couple of days. And so these last few days I've been trying to read heavy sci-fi, heavy fantasy, you know, that kind of thing. And so finally jumping back into a contemporary novel is just like, the best really really enjoying this one it's very cute it has a major league baseball player in it which is like a plus now i'm getting ready to go to my parents house for dinner and to hang out with them and stuff because i haven't seen them in a bit tomorrow morning i have a very early meeting and then another meeting and then a long day at work like we have a very huge catering order tomorrow that i'm just like dreading to be honest <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they're fresh. It's a yeah, very fresh. interesting um, display of food because we got um, <laughs> chips and guac, and I have ribs, and then we have vegetarians, and them. then we have asparagus, <laughs> and then we have pot. <laughs> what? Just a very wide variety of food here. Oh, oh, this is very horrifying. And burgers. <laughs> and burgers. And burgers. Oh, and fries. Oh, yeah, and fries. He's making his garlic. <laughs> Are we have burgers too? Yeah, oh, uh, well, yeah. Huh? If you want. If you want, I know Gabby likes burgers. She's not a big fan of the beef. 
Yeah, Bring out this is. This is an L O where? Sweetie. Where my little girl? My baby. Oh, big girl. Oh, it's raining out here. <laughs> oh, babies. Oh. This is the first little girl. <laughs> babies. Hi. It's freaking pouring. You can't really see it on this. Little, um, yeah. the only still July 10th, but it's the nighttime, and my girl Taylor Swift just performed on Prime Day, and oh my god, it was just so amazing and so beautiful, and hearing her scream liars and dirty, dirty cheats of the world during Shake It Off just, like, made me so, like, sad for her and all that she's going through right now with, like, fucking Scooter Braun and, like, her record label and everything, like, I just can't believe that artists, like, don't automatically own the rights to their own music. It just doesn't make any sense and it's like really sad and I just like, I really just hope she's okay. Also just painted my nails red, which I haven't painted my nails red in like forever. And now I'm gonna jump back into my current read. So one of my coworkers today just got back from Hawaii. He went on a vacation and he, he brought me back bookmarks that are like surfboards. How freaking sweet is that? Like that is so freaking nice. Like these are so cute and they're like real wood. So I'm so happy about this. Like that is the nicest thing ever. Oh. So Kayla just uploaded a new vlog so you know I'm watching it. Well now it's midnight and I was going to edit a booktube video that I have that I've filmed but I just haven't edited, edited it yet. But instead, I'm just gonna lay in bed and try to finish my current read. On chapter 20, I'm like about 150-ish pages into it, so I have like a thick chunk left, but I'm gonna try to get through most of it now. Last night, I finished my read of Evie Drake's Starts Over, and it was really cute. Now that I've read one more book that was in my comfort zone, I think I'm ready to read one more book that's outside of my comfort zone. So I think tonight I'm gonna start something that's like outside of my comfort zone. I haven't decided what yet, but this afternoon, me and my sister tried a new local taco truck. That, it's not new, but we've never been before. So we went there and it was really, really good. Their cheese quesadillas were like entirely filled with mozzarella cheese. Like, and it was just ugh, so good. And their tacos were also A1. And then this afternoon, I finally edited the What I've Watched number seven video. And so that's probably gonna go up tomorrow. Because me and my sister actually work similar shifts tonight. So we're gonna be able to carpool to work for the first time in like so long. Also, I'm like so terrified because there have been some really big earthquakes in California recently. Like if you didn't know, I'm from California. So like my entire family is down there in California and like these giant earthquakes like there was like a 7.1 earthquake earlier like this week or maybe a week ago now and then there was another earthquake today it was a lot smaller of one but then there was another earthquake in Seattle too and so I'm like what and I live a little bit north of Seattle I live a lot closer to Canada but like still I'm like Okay, like simmer down. And Sharon's new album just came out today and it's so freaking good. And I don't think there's one song on the album that I don't like, which is crazy. Like that never happens. But I think my favorite out of like all the new songs that I just heard is Antisocial, which is the one with Travis Scott. I think that one is like the best and also the one I Don't Want Your Money featuring her. That one might be my favorite too, but I don't know, like I really like them all. I also like the one with Camila Cabello. They're all great, but I still think the best, best ones are Cross Me and Beautiful People. Like I think those were such perfect songs for the first few singles off that album. Also, I just got some books in the mail. I got Hot Dog Girl, which is a promotional 
thing that I'm doing on Instagram with Simon & Schuster. I also got Stranger on the Beach. Finally, this is from Booksparks for Bookfest this summer. Holy crap, I'm so excited. Like, I want to drop everything and start reading this, but I'm doing that freaking reading books outside of my comfort zone thing this month. So I've been trying not to pick up you know, thrillers. It really sucks, but uh, I can't wait to get to this one. Maybe I'll try to figure out some way to incorporate this into my uh, Reading Rush TBR somehow. Hey, how's it going? It's July 13th. I just got off from work a little bit ago. I got off a little bit early, which is nice. And now we're getting ready to go with the whole company. Well, not the whole company, but the local restaurants near us. We're all gonna go to the trampoline zone and have a huge dodgeball competition. And it's gonna be pretty crazy, but oh my God, I am so exhausted because last night I had like the worst insomnia I've had in a really, really long time. And I wasn't able to fall asleep until like 3.45 in the morning. So like I have barely like no energy at all. And so hopefully the trampoline zone exhausts me so much that I sleep really, really good tonight. That's the plan. <laughs> it's exactly nine o'clock at night. The sun is just starting to go down. The sunset is amazing and it's like almost 10. I know, what the fuck? Freaking Washington. <laughs> it is really pretty. It's the other one. He is here. <laughs> We're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. <laughs> this place is so cool, for real.
trying to roll me up. Getting a new jar of Nutella is like the absolute best thing in the world. Hey, what's up? So today is July 15th and it's been like two days since the trampoline zone, but like I'm still so sore. Like my back hurts so bad. <laughs> Anyways, tonight I'm really excited because we are having a barbecue slash s'mores thing with all of our coworkers at my BFF Winter's house. And it's just gonna be a super fun and summery thing. And it's probably gonna be the most summer thing I'm gonna do this whole summer. I am also 140-ish pages into Scythe, which I'm reading for the video that I'm doing right now, reading books outside of my comfort zone. And I'm actually surprisingly enjoying this. Didn't think I would, but here we are. This is exciting though, because this is the first book that I've read that's really outside of my comfort zone that I'm actually enjoying because it's a young adult dystopian and that's like really not usually my thing. So I think I have about an hour until we're leaving for the barbecue. So I think I'm just gonna try to get through as much of this as I can. Mm. You can go one. for it. Yeah. Look at how cute. You want split it? Pringles. Oh, you want a cookie? Oh, oh no, no, no. Cookie, got yeah. these. Oh, yeah. you, want, you want to try this, babe? Obed cutting the lettuce over here. <laughs> He's on it. Yes. Maybe burgers. not too big of pieces. No, these are perfect. Too big. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Walty! Walty! Oh, oh, he's so cute! Hello! Are you gonna grab Walty, you're sick! Walty! Walty, Walty! What? Run, Walty! <laughs> oh, he's looking for it. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh! He's so cute! Hi, Walty! Oh my goodness. You are such a cutie. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I just want to pet you. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to pet you. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. What are you gonna like rub sticks together? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll probably just use one. One day we're gonna torches. be stuck. <laughs> you're gonna be like, there's gonna be, we're gonna be like, on a plane or something. You're like, uh -huh. I'll, help, I'll, stay, I'll keep you alive, and then you'll be like, right. <laughs> <laughs> because he spoke the truth. <laughs> Popcorn, trailers, movie. trailers, <laughs> side movies, movie promos, exactly. posters. I guess. It's a TV show and it's on Cartoon Network. Today is July 17th and I just finished filming my reading books out of my comfort zone video. I finished reading Scythe earlier today and it was so freaking good and I'm just like, I just can't stop thinking about that book and I was just trying to explain the plot of it right now to my sister and I was just getting so excited about it like all over again. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm on the way to go to dinner with my mom. We're going to Red Robin because I'm starving. I'm so hungry and it'll be good because I haven't seen my mom in like almost a week. Like it's been a while. Um, today is like such a weird day out. Like it honestly kind of feels like a fall day today because it's been raining and like windy all day and now like the sun is finally starting to come out but it's still like weird like it feels like weird in the air like stormy it's my plans Beanie. beanies oh okay. there's a fire <laughs> oh my god 
Yeah. Now we have fried green tomatoes. <laughs> oh, fried yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Almost hit the garden. Almost. <laughs> Jeez. But we got a little angel watching over him. Oh man. So we're good. That shit is real. That's real. It's lit. That shit's lit. <laughs> Literally. I got a lit. Beanies. Go get him, Scooby Doo. Get. Oh, oh my god. god. Woo. It's the new Christina Lauren. Oh my god. Christina Lauren's amazing. When's that one come out? October. Yeah. What the no heck? No way. Dude, this is like the most defined rainbow I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a full fucking rainbow. <gasps> I can't even deal with this, you guys. Dude, it's like pouring. <laughs> but it's sunny out. This is so what? Oh my god. Look at over there. <gasps> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> We're barely uh, covered by this. Wow. So today, I got the most exciting book mail ever. I got Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren. And this doesn't come out until October. And like, I am so shook because I had no idea that I was actually getting this in the mail. Like, what? So I'm probably gonna start this tonight because I literally cannot wait. I can't even believe it's in my hands right now. Like, honestly, like, this is so crazy. And then I also got these two other books that actually sound super interesting. This one's called The Need, and it's about this mother and her two daughters and then there's like a home invasion and there's like somebody in their house and like, what? And it says it's a speculative thriller. It's probably like an ambiguous ending or something, which means I'm probably gonna love it. So really wanna read this. It's also blurbed by Emily St. John Mandel. The other one I got is from Scribner. This one goes on sale in September and this one's called The Crossed Out Notebook. And it sounds so crazy. It says it's about a screenwriter who has been abducted by the greatest Latin American film director of all time and is kept in a basement where he toils on what he is told and he has to write a world-changing screenplay. Like, what? Today is July 18th and I just got home from work and on the way back home from work, I stopped by Target to get some bowls. I keep running out of bowls like every day because we only have three bowls, you know? Like ever since we moved out of my parents' house, like we just never went and got our own bowls we just took three bowls from their house and i was like why don't we have any bowls like it's getting so frustrating having to clean the dishes every single time we run out of the three bowls so we went and i got these like cute i don't know um what kind of material these are but they're like not glass so they're not gonna like break easily which is nice and these colors are just so beautiful like i love the teal and the black these were actually my high school colors which is probably why i like them so much I'm so glad I finally went and did it because I've been like meaning to go and get like more bowls for us and more like plates and shit, you know? Oh my gosh, today I did the dumbest thing ever at work. Like I don't even know how I did it, but like while I was walking to go like take this beer out, I slammed my hand like into the wall so hard and like it hurt so freaking bad and I'm pretty sure it like immediately started to bruise and now it's like really red on my hand. Like, I don't even know if you can see it. It's like right there. And when you go over it, like I can feel a bump, which like, I have no idea what that means, but like, oh my God, my hand was in so much pain. Like I could barely even like hold a pen or for like 30 minutes afterwards because my hand was just like shaking. Like, like literally right after I did that, I felt like I was gonna pass out like twice. <laughs> and it was probably because I was just really hungry and maybe a little bit dehydrated, but like, I was drinking a lot of water today. But like, oh my God, like I am so, Ugh. Like I'm so weak like whenever something happens like the tiniest amount of blood Like I literally feel like I'm gonna pass out and it's so annoying a couple weeks ago I went to go put the trash down our trash chute and my finger got like stuck in between the like Cardboard and the top of the thing and I pulled my finger back really fast and it like tore a little bit on the top of my finger And it was bleeding and I was like, oh my god Oh my god And I kept like running under the water and like putting a paper towel on it and the paper towel The paper towel kept getting like red and I literally was like feeling like I was gonna pass out Like I was like, oh my god, I have to sit down like oh my god, it's so embarrassing It's like one of my least favorite things about myself. Like I just uh, 
Like I wish I had a stronger stomach, I guess is what that would be. I don't know, but I am just such a weak bitch. I'm just like, I'll hit the floor as soon as I see like a tiniest amount of blood, but it's only if it's like my blood, you know? Like at least I think, I don't know. Anyways, last night I started Twice in a Blue Moon. I only got 68 pages into it. And so far, like honestly, so far it's okay which is like making me kind of sad that I'm not like immediately loving it. But this one is kind of reminding me of the Christina Lauren book, Love in Other Words, which is like their other women's fiction book. And that book I didn't really end up enjoying. So it kind of sucks that it's reminding me of that. But this one has the like first lovers reconnecting trope, which is like not one of my favorite romance tropes for some reason. Like I just, I don't like first loves like coming back together like it's just not really my favorite but um i don't know i feel like the main reason why i'm not really liking this so far is because this beginning section feels like a young adult novel because it takes place like it's beginning their story like 14 years ago when they met and whatever and like i'm 70 pages in and we're still at the part where they're like teenagers and so i'm like okay like like, I mean, their relationship is like cute-ish so far, but like I didn't sign up for a young adult romance, you know? Like I just wanted to read about an actress and like her shit, you know, which is what this description says. It's about an actress. So uh, yeah, I mean, so far it's okay. I'm not losing hope though. And hopefully I can finish this one soon. <laughs> My first premiere. This is so cool. <laughs> it's so exciting. There's 21 people watching. Just made a quick breakfast, and now it's time to watch Queer Eye! Queer Eye Season 4! God, look at him. Anthony's beautiful. It is, it is still July 19th, and I'm getting ready to go into work right now, but I just finished reading A Stranger on the Beach. This was a super fast read for me. Like, it was really easy to read, and this is like an adult thriller, if you couldn't tell by this cover. I didn't really like this one. I ended up giving it like two out of five stars. Like it's just not, like it's just very basic for a thriller. And the moral of the story is not to trust strangers and not to trust your schemy, weird, slimy husband. Like, I don't know. So I feel kind of disappointed by this, but. <laughs> going today is july 21st and i got off of work early today which is cray cray and i'm getting ready to go out to dinner with my parents we're gonna go to this asian restaurant that we really like i just finished filming my book haul for this month and so i'm gonna try to edit that tonight and get it posted by tomorrow because tomorrow is the start of the reading rush and i'm so excited and like a little bit unprepared i feel like to begin a readathon tomorrow but you know we're just gonna wing it we is here so I just got out of Barnes and Noble and I decided to get All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Wood because I've heard a lot of really great things about it and everybody's been saying that I should read it and it's like a really great forbidden romance kind of thing. So I got it. Maybe I'll read it this August. And then I also got this really cute 2020 planner because I've been wanting a planner that's like small enough that I could just stick it in my backpack and I want to fill it with like work related things and YouTube and Instagram related things and just use it as like a checkoff list basically of like everything that I have to do that day. So I'm excited to use this. It's so cute. Isn't it so cute? The cactuses, the cacti, it's cacti. All right. So I just got back home 
from going out to dinner with my parents, which was super nice. Love catching up with them. And then after dinner, I went to Barnes & Noble and did some damage to my wallet, but it was hella worth it. And I'm actually really excited to read this. I'm thinking I'm gonna read it next month, probably. The Reading Rush starts in a couple of hours. It's about seven o'clock at night right now. So I think I'm gonna edit the book haul video that I just filmed and get that ready to be posted tomorrow maybe for the first day. And then I'll have to edit these vlogs and then get these vlogs up at some point in these next few days. Like this is why I like readathons to be in the beginning or the middle of the month because then, you know, I have time at the end of the month to release all my end of the month videos. But when the readathon takes place at the end of the month, it's just like so many things, you know, it's so many things. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now, and I'm gonna start preparing for the reading rush to start, which is gonna be fun. And I'm probably honestly just gonna sit on the couch and watch Queer Eye while I edit this book haul. I'm just gonna end these vlogs here, so thank you guys so much for watching these vlogs as usual. I have so many people that always tell me like about my channel that like my vlogs are their favorite part of my channel and i just think that that's so crazy and so cool because like honestly the vlogs are the most effortless part of my channel kind of i mean it does like i have to remind myself sometimes like oh my god like take footage take footage so i have footage for the for the vlogs and stuff but like still it's just it's clips of my life so it's just like it's really cool that you guys like to watch that <laughs> I'm just really thankful for everyone that watches my videos and I just really, really, really do appreciate you. And yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching and I will see you guys next month with another vlog. I will see you very soon though for the reading rush. So be on the lookout for those vlogs coming at you soon too. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.